The governor of the Karas region paid a visit to the NBC for radio and TV interviews for independence. The governor says the government is strong on national unity and reconciliation, and in that spirit, a targeted program is necessary to sufficiently recognize the struggles of the Namahero genocides. Bernardo Swartboy said through physical. such a program, land should be acquired on a large scale, and descendants of these communities be resettled to address poverty and unemployment under these communities. Swartboy noted that in the current region, more than 50% of land remains under commercial farming, while most of the Nama and Tereroro are either farming on communal land or corridors, and others are forced to be in urban areas where there is no sufficient jobs. Then you will start to feel physically and directly that I am now on a piece of land that was the land of my ancestors, and now I have to do things to build myself on this piece of land. The governor says commercial farmers had extreme support from their governments through land provision, low interest loans instructed to be full time with reimbursements on money spent on infrastructure, such as borehole drilling and fencing. He said such support would be needed to support these communities. Perhaps was to cater for a larger number of people, resettlement farmers only get a 200,000. And you have to fix your, your fencing and other things, or alternatively, the budgets are very narrow in respect of having to fix your fences, or the time it takes to get a response from the ministry is very long, and so on and so forth. So be careful when we today juxtapose our people all over the country who are resettlement farmers. He said under such circumstances, chances of failure would be next to zero.